Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NCRT Maths with Vardeep. Today we are going to solve question number 9th of exercise 2.2. Let's see, the ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio 5 is to 7. So, ratio of the ages are given. 4 years later means after 4 years from present age, the sum of their ages will be 56 years. So, what are their present ages? As I already mentioned in my previous question that whenever ratio is given, ratio is given as 5 by 7. Okay, so this means we can write this as 5 by 7. We did in our previous grade what is the meaning of ratio. That means there should be some common multiple which can be cancelled and simplified way we can write our given ratio. So, for this type of question, whenever ratio is given, we will take both values in the form of x. That means the person, here in our case, two persons are there, Rahul and Harun. So, Rahul age will be taken as 5x and Harun's will be taken as 7x. So, we will take their present ages as 5x and 7x because when we divide these ages, we will get ratio as 5 by 7. Now, second thing is 4 years later. Means suppose today's age is 10. Okay. So, what will be the age after 4 years? After 4 years means plus 4. So, it will be 14. So, what will be the age of Harun then? See, whatever is our age today, after 4 years it means plus 4. Before 4 years means minus 4. So, here if the... if Second person is Harun. Suppose his age is 20. Then after 4 years his age will be 24. So again we can say that. Suppose I am taking Rahul's age as, as 5x. This should be present age. Okay. So second person's age is 7x. These are their present ages. So after 4 years his age will be plus 4 and his age will be 7x plus 4. So, these are the ages that is after 4 years and these ages sum is given as 56. Is it clear? So, now let's see how to write this. We will say let Rahul age. See, ratio is given as 5 is to 7. So, first number will go with first person and second number will go with second person. So, please keep this in your mind. First number with first thing and second number with second thing. So, let Rahul's present age be how much? First number is 5. So, it should be 5x. Don't forget the units. 5x years. Therefore, Har Harun's age present age will be how much? This is 7. So, therefore, it will be 7x years. Clear? So, now what is required after 4 years? So, we will write after 4 years. Rahul's age. This is 5x. Presently, he is 5x years. So, after 4 years, it will be 5x plus 4 years. Okay. And Harun's age kitti ho jayegi? Harun's age after 4 years will be present age 7x. After 4 means plus 4 years. Okay. So, these are their ages after 4 years. So, now what is the next thing? Their ages will sum up to 56 years. So, therefore, 5x plus 4 plus 7x plus 4. Their sum should be 56. Now, let's solve this. 5x plus 7x, that means 12x. 4 plus 4 as 8. This should be equal to 56. So, this is the required equation. Now, let's solve it. So, this is plus 8, it will go to other side and it will be subtracted. That is 12x is equals to 56 minus 8. Okay. 
So therefore, 12x is equal to 56 minus 8 is 48. Okay, so this is 48. What should be now x? See, 12 is multiplied. Other side, it will be divided. So, 48 by 12. Okay, so 12 ones are 12, 12 fours are 48. Therefore, x is 4. Now, this is not the age. Okay, so we need to find their present ages. Let's fill this value in their present age. So, Rahul's present age is 5x years. So, we will write, therefore, Rahul's age is 5x. Okay, so I will write 5 into 4, that means 20 years. Correct? And Harun's age will be 7x. Okay, this is 7x. So, 7 into 4, 28 years. So, this is our question number 9. So, let's see what is our question. The number of boys and girls in a class are in the ratio 7 is to 5. This is same like our previous question. Ratio is given as 7 is to 5. See, I have already told you whenever ratio is there, so first number will be for the first term and the second number will be for the second term. So, boys number will be 7x and girls number will be 5x. The number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls. What is the total class strength? So again, we will assume the boys and girls. Let the number of boys. So ratio is again 7 by 5. So it should be, let the number of boys be 7x. Okay, first number for boys. Therefore, the number of girls it should be our second number that is 5x. After this what is given? The number of boys that means 7x is 8 more than the number of girls. Now let's see how to frame this. Number of boys means this. Number of girls are this. Number of boys are 8 more than the number of girls. That means 7x should be equal to 5x plus 8. Correct? So, if 5x is the number of girls, we will add 8 to, 8 to this number. Then we will get the number of boys. So, this is our equation. Okay? Clear? So, I can write here, therefore, 7x is equal to 5x plus 8. So, number of girls plus 8. Total will be 7x. Now let's solve this. See I have a label on this side and on this side also. So I want these to be in only one side. So I will shift now over 5x to the left hand side. 5x is having positive sign. So when it comes to this side it will be minus 5x. So as I told you earlier also whatever is in the left hand side and right hand side that we should write first. The numbers that we are transposing from one side to other, it should be in the last of that. So 7x I will write as it is and this plus 5x will be changed to minus 5x and this is equal to 8. So now what is 7x minus 2x, sorry 7x minus 5x, this is 2x and this is equal to 8 and x will be 8 by 2. Okay, so x is 4. We get x as 4. So what is the number of boys? Therefore, number of boys is equal to 7x. Okay, so this is 7 into 4, that is 28. And the number of girls, this is 5x. So, 5 into 4 as 20. But what is asked here? It is what is the total class strength. Therefore, total class strength 
is equal to number of boys plus number of girls that is 28 plus 20 is equal to 48 okay this is our question number 10 see you in my next video with question number 11 thank you